Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're brand new I'm very happy that you decided to join me today for the first speed build of 2021 and you guys we made it and we managed to survive to 2020 which is has been a crazy year if you ask me I hope it was you know kind of nice for you um, for me it was a bit a rough year but yeah we survived we are still here so yeah congrats to us all um, it was surely a tough year but we made it as I've said 20 times in just 30 seconds but it's fine right am I right let's start this year with a weird voiceover I'd say also it's raining outside so if you can hear you know the rain towards well towards against my window um that would be why i train anyway i don't know if i've said ever said it in one of my speed builds but given as it's raining yeah this is the right occasion to let you know that i train but we're not here to talk about weather or rain or what i like because we are here to watch well for you to watch a speed build for me to do the voiceover of this speed build and as the first build of 2021 I've decided to build a Scandinavian, you know, little house. Scandinavian style is my favorite one um, because it's really like minimalistic and I get the opportunity to use a lot of light colors, which are my favorites. If you're not new here on the channel, you probably know that light wood, it's my favorite color scheme to go to. And also, this Scandinavian style is really really simple on the outside so yeah I truly wanted to go with a Scandinavian thing um, given that it was a while I didn't do one um, I hope I am not being repetitive <laughs> but yeah that's what I've decided to do for this build as you can see right now I'm working on some custom doors I've used the tool mod to rotate these wooden planks I always use these wooden planks I 100% recommend them they are in the base game and they are so versatile to do many many things and yeah I've rotated these wooden planks and I've created these doors because yeah I wanted to have some sliding doors with wooden paneling and we don't have that and the sliding doors we have except from like just one door we have in the base game they are all too huge in my opinion so yeah i wanted to create my version of them and obviously they are functional i play tested them of course i would never put out something that it's not functional because yeah why would i waste so much time in creating custom furniture if then it's not functional so yeah that's what i did and here as you can see i moved on to the kitchen which is the first thing i did in this house and i've lost a part of the cluttering of it indeed as you can see right now it's like completely done which is weird but yeah i had forgotten to record it because can i start 2021 without forgetting to record a room obviously not so yeah here is my little present <laughs> to begin this year with the wrong food i'd say but anyway the kitchen is really simple as always i've used some gallery art from the gallery yeah wow what a concept right and yeah i've created my own custom kitchen counters i also have a tutorial about it if you're curious to know you know the basic and how to create these sort of things yourself and here as you can see i moved on into the living room i've created a custom uh, fireplace and i'm creating a costume coffee table because I, as i was watching for well, as i was looking for some reference pictures in a scandinavian style um, regarding the interior i saw many of these coffee tables and we don't have one of them in game so i've used some shelves and some wooden debug uh, poles to create this look and i think it looks really, really nice and the fireplace how i did the fireplace i've used some debug thingies because i wanted this fireplace to be you know a bit inside of the wall but we don't have like half wall tiles and i didn't want like our room um and i wanted this fireplace to be functional and it is indeed as you can see right now it's lighting on it's turned on it's lighting up yeah i don't know how to say it precisely but yeah as you can see now i'm cluttering up the living room i think this living room turned out really, really nice obviously you'll be the judge of that of course you let me know if it turned out cute or not if it's a yai or nai 
Um, and here as you can see I'm using some poofs and pillows, those pillows are from the toddler stuff pack. I've rotated them with tool mode of course and then I've used them as if they were cushions or pillows on the sofa because I think the eco lifestyle, well actually most of these sofas in the game they look really nice but so uncomfortable because of the lack of pillows so yeah I wanted to add my own pillows to them and here as you can see I'm creating a custom shelving unit I've used some dig up yeah sure I've used some debug objects and I've rotated them with tool as always I've used tool kind of a lot in this build um, but yeah but I've rotated them to make them look like they were a sort of leather thing so like a recycled leather or something like that um, but yeah I really really like how it looks and here as you can see I'm moved on to the bedroom which also features a studio area a desk area um, this house is for only a couple of sims it's really really small well it's not so small actually it's on a 20 by 20 lot in Windenburg anyway because I failed to mention that and yeah it's for a couple of sims they have only one bathroom one bedroom and a couple of desks if i'm not mistaken i think you saw me making one with the eco lifestyle shelf earlier on i think but this video is really really short so yeah i'm trying to explain everything in just a short amount of time i hope i'll be able to say everything i wanted to say um, if you don't know how my voiceovers go, I just start talking and never stop until the end. Like, I don't have a um, script, like, speech to say or things I want to say in the speed build. I just roll with it and that's it. And usually I also um, record everything in just one take unless I have to interrupt for something. So yeah, here is, here is my truth about my voiceovers that no one asked for. But now as you can see I moved on into the bathroom. It's a really simple bathroom um, but they have everything they should need. Also I forgot to mention that I've added also a couple of um, footballs for a cat but I've forgotten to place a litter box I hope I'll remember to place one before uploading this build to the gallery and this build will be available on the gallery really, really soon well really soon, really soon. Um, actually when this video is out this build is already on the gallery my ID is Julia Builds and you can find me as Julia Builds everywhere else so on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr and yeah that's pretty much it um, but also I wanted to thank you all so so much for almost 2000 subscribers we are like really really close and as of me recording this voiceover right now it's Saturday or Sunday I'm not even sure about the days uh, as of right now given you know the situation and that we always have to stay home but anyway so I'm not at 2k yet I hope I'll be there soon but I just wanted to let you know that I'm really really grateful and thankful for all of your support it truly really means a lot to me like a lot I am just so overwhelmed with your support and I hope 2021 will bring me and us all because we are a community many many achievements obviously i wish the same for you all i hope this year will be amazing for everyone um yeah and i hope it will be a bit you know kinder than 2020 was but as you can see now we have moved on in on the, today i cannot speak as you can see i hope you will find it funny anyway because i maybe it is listening to me you know stumbling upon my words I really hope it's funny but anyways you can see we moved on to the landscaping and while I was blabbering I also did the hallway and yeah so that's pretty much where we're at right now the landscaping it's really really simple I've only used some bushes because you know given that this house was inspired by Scandinavia um, yeah they live in the northern part of Europe well they live Scandinavia in is in the northern part of Europe and yeah so i i've never been there actually but i don't imagine there are a lot of flowers correct me if i'm wrong but anyway i went with a um, green landscaping with not many flowers that was my idea 
but we are actually at the end of this video I'm still not so sure if I'm going to have a tour of the end of this video or screenshots because I still have to edit finish editing this build um, but yeah I really hope you like this video I hope you enjoy this tour or the screenshots I don't know and yeah hopefully I'll see you all in my next one bye